Fidelity Bank PLC has demonstrated once again its commitment to discovering and developing young talents in the area of sports in Nigeria. This commitment was in full display all through the 2019 Academic Coast Championship which the bank sponsored which climaxed with the finals of both the under-13 and under-17 tournaments. The two finals were played at St. Mary's High School in Tedunu, Dunkofia local government area of Anambra State. Central School Ekulobia traded tackles with the primary school Aguleri in the under-13 finals while Community Secondary School Oga locked horns with Metropolitan College Onija for the under-17 competition. On the day of the finals, played on Saturday 1st of June 2019, the atmosphere was electric, the expectations were high, hearts were pumping as hopes of greater expectations enveloped in their number who took that on mass to witness the best of youth soccer at the first Anambra Under-13 and Under-17 Academical Championship in the Anambra football season. The finals, the first of its kind in the history of football in the state, was organized by the government of Anambra State through the Anambra State Sports Development Commission. The tournament, which was a part of the 2019 Anambra football season, was introduced by the state government to identify young talents in football as well as encourage youth development. Kickoff was done by Anambra State Commissioner for Basic Education, Professor Kate Omenoa, in company of the Chairman, Anambra State Sports Development Commission, Mr. Tony Oli, and other dignitaries. The official opening of the event was greeted with cheers from the spectators. The competing teams for the two football tournaments were all eager and ready, kitted out in their Fidelity Bank branded football jerseys, which had the names of individual players emblazoned at the back. For many of the players, this was an unforgettable experience wearing professional football jerseys, which spotted their names for the very first time in their lives. Just like their favorite football stars, Austin Jejo Okocha, Juan Pocano, Lionel Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo, who they have been watching on TV. The officiating was excellent to the thrill and excitement of the spectators who came from different parts of the state to witness the unfolding football spectacle. Officials of Anambra State Football Association were also on hand to ensure that everything went on according to the rules of the game. At the end of the pulsating match, Central School Ekulobia emerged the winner in the under 13 category, costing home with the sum of 500,000 Naira cash prize, having beaten a primary school at Goleri by three goals to one. The under 17 Governor's Cup winners, Community Secondary School Oga, cruised home and lifted the trophy, winning a grand prize of 1 million Naira, while Metropolitan College on Nature and Bubendorf Memorial Grammar School at Dazinuku who were both the first and second runners up went home with 200,000 naira and 100,000 naira respectively. While handing over the trophy to the winning schools, Governor William Biano, who was represented by the Deputy Governor Dr. Nkemo Keke, commended the Anambra State Sports Development Commission and Fidelity Bank PLC for a job well done, adding that the state government will continue to invest in youth development through sports. The Governor who stressed that sports contributes immensely towards healthy living, peaceful and harmonious coexistence for the appreciated Fidelity Bank for the partnership while urging other corporate bodies and affluent in the Anambra to engage the youths positively in order to secure a brighter future for the state. Um, I think this is uh, the governor's uh, way of showing that he believes in the youths, he believes in youth development. Of course, playing soccer, playing football is part of youth development. Engaging kids in all sorts of uh, programs, projects, uh, playing football, uh, involved in sports, involved in uh, skills acquisition, it's all part of engaging them, keeping them away from all kinds of uh, crime and criminality. That's the whole essence and I've had a wonderful day, this is just wonderful. You can see the enthusiasm of the kids, the people, the spectators, everybody's enjoying this. A great game and I was happy to have come to represent the government. Extra mile. They've done a fantastic job. Tony Oli and his crew have done a really wonderful job. I think, you know, this is what we say when we put square pegs in square holes. Tony has taken charge of this commission and is really putting things together and making sure that they're able to succeed. Whoever wasn't involved in this has already missed out. And I believe after watching this, after being uh, informed of what happened, 
they will be interested in sponsoring other youth programs. I think this is fantastic and I commend the Fidelity crew uh, with the MD for being here. The MD is actually here, present, watching the game. So it shows commitment from their part and I'm really happy. And I pray that other corporate uh, organizations will take notes and be able to sponsor other things. It's not just football that will play here. Uh, there are other games, basketball, tennis, whatever. They can all be involved in and organize it. And I know that we have the players in Anambra to be part of what's going on here. Thank you, Excellency. Thank you very much. While appreciating the state government, Fidelity Bank PLC and others who partnered them in making the tournament a success, the chairman, Anambra State Sports Development Commission, Mr. Tonioli revealed that five Anambra youths that took part in the 2019 Academical Championship have been invited to the national camp by the Nigeria Football Federation. Well, 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 I'm sort of wet because we have witnessed the best of soccer at our youth level under 13 and under 17. Unpredictable results and uh, it came out so well. I mean, we we'll feel the atmosphere. Everybody is happy and youth soccer is back in Anambra State. That is the thing. Definitely, you know, want to thank first of all the governor of Anambra State who made it possible. We also thank Fidelity Bank that provided the kits that the children used right from under and right from their semi-final stage up to today. The football souvenirs we are giving to them, they procured it. Okay? We thank ABS, we thank channels, you know, TVC. We thank NTA and uh, National Light, all of them that have been working with us. Brand and Risotto, they have been doing wonderful work in our brand concepts. So everybody, you know, our partners, we appreciate them. They started this journey with us October last year, and we came to the final day today. And we thank all of them. Well, well, I don't want to say that now until we go back to, you know, our partners, we go back to His Excellency. But, you know, I do hear the end of fidelity telling me that, what they have seen is wonderful that next year is coming back. So with that, we know very well, if not, if you're not that thing, they will do the kitchen again for us. So we can be sure of giving another wonderful kitchen for our children, you know, for the organization. We know our, our governor, His Excellency, who made us to do this, will not leave us behind. Thank you very much. Speaking, the Group Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Fidelity Bank PLC, Mr. Namde Okonkwo, noted the sports is a vital element in youth development and assured of their continuous partnership with the state government. Well, we didn't come to Anambra State as, as, it, as it were. We operate in Anambra State. Um, we have branches all across the state. Therefore, uh, it pleased us to support this initiative. Now, sports is a very strong element in youth development. and. We felt we needed to partner with this state to make sure that we got this competition going strongly. You can see what happened today. I, I think that was really standard, international standard show they put up. So we're very proud to have supported this. And look at the joy on the faces of those kids. The ones that won, the ones that did not win. Um, we look forward to continuing this support. Well, no, not, I, can't, I can't tell you exactly how long, but we'll continue to support this initiative. It, we, we don't want to put a, a timeline to it at all. Okay, let's try and link sports to uh, entrepreneurship. Uh, you know, the motor of Fidelity Bank is uh, where Fidelity will keep our ball. So I'm trying to understand, are you thinking of, uh, I know Fidelity Bank sponsors uh, creative writing uh, workshops. Are you thinking of like making this like a national app, uh, maybe like as a Fidelity Bank in one app? Well, let's perfect at state level first and then we can think about going national. In jubilation as the winners of the competition, some players from Community Secondary School Oga, including the top scorer of the tournament, Chikam Sotsibodo, with seven goals, and Chibike Nsiebunam, who also scored the winning goal against Metropolitan College Onicha, thanked the Anambra State Government for giving them such great opportunity. Other dignitaries that graced the event included the Principal Secretary to the Governor, Sir Willy Mokoye, the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of the Anambra Broadcasting Service, Chief Uche Mwara, Government Functionaries, Captains of Industry, among others. They expressed their joy at the positive turnout of the event. The Under-13 and Under-17 Academic Championship was organized by the Government of Anambra State 
through the State Sports Development Commission for over 1,062 primary schools and 258 post-primary schools across the state who participated in the Anambra football season. With the feat recorded in this year's tournament, the recorded promising football talents, indeed, players from Anambra State could be the next set of players to watch out for in the next Under-17 World Cup. With the continued support of Fidelity Bank PLC, there is no doubt that the future of youth sports is bright and not only in Anambra State but in Nigeria as a whole.